Lately, I've been seeing people having problems with scanning. They're just not getting the results that they should. So I made this little video, hopefully to help guide a few people. I'm going to be scanning this orange pumpkin. You can see it in the preview window. This window down here at the bottom is the scanning window. This bar right here adjusts the gain. You can see at a one, you couldn't really see it, but as you increase the gain, you can see more and more of the item, but it starts to get red. The red spots means that it's overexposed. If your scan is too overexposed, it will end up with the very blurriness to it, or the texture of it will be, I guess you can call it chicken skin. So what you want to do is take the gain back down some, just enough to where the red is kind of gone. Right here, I'm going to start the scan. When you're using the dual axis turntable, there is about a six second delay before the turntable actually starts to move. And as you can see with the scan, it's really not picking up much. You have kind of a hot spot where it's just getting the top portion of it. And this is normal if your item's a dark color or a color that just doesn't work right with the blue light scanning. I'm going to let it finish, do the entire spin around. All right, it's made itself back around. I'm going to go ahead and fuse the points. This is just fusing the point clouds. You can see that the texture is not really all that, but once you fuse the point cloud, it'll get better. These are the settings I use. I normally try for a pitch point of a 0 0.1, but I just let auto handle it. Right here, it's fusing. This is all in real time. Um, there's not many points, so it won't take a long time to do it. And for some reason, it always hangs around the 60% mark. Once it gets past that, it ends up going pretty fast. All right, now it's finished. As you can see, the scan starting to look a little bit better. It's still a lot of spots that are missing. This is really just due to the color of the item. So right here, I'm going to actually mesh the model. I choose not to fill the holes. Most of the time you fill holes, it just depends on how much of the item you scan. All right, as you can see, the item came out pretty sharp. You can see kind of a fuzziness to it or a lumpiness to a surface. And this is because it was slightly overexposed to try and get it to scan due to the color that it is. Okay, so now I've taken it and I sprayed it with some scanning spray. This just basically makes it a matte white color. As you can see already, it shows up really good at a one. Taking it up a little bit higher, it becomes overexposed. So I'll just drop that back down to a two. And as you can see, you can already see a lot more on the scan. Yeah, I've noticed that I've actually set it to a three and not a two, but it's still fine. And you can see how it's picking up a lot more going around the sides, just a whole lot more than what it did the first time. And it's almost finished. All right, now it's finished. I'm going to do the same thing, fuse the point clouds. But you can see how it's just a lot more of the model you can see. All 
All right, I sped up the fusing just to save time. And as you can see, the model looks pretty good. It's not as great as it can be, but this is just a point cloud. Once you actually mesh it, then you'll see the true quality of it. Sped this up also. And as you can see, this is the final model. You can see this part was 3D printed. You can see the lines on it. It did not get the little holes on the side, but that's to be expected. Other than that, it did an excellent job with it. The entire model wasn't scanned. It's just a scan of the outside surface, which is fine for this test. If you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out, just leave a like. Let me know anything I can do to improve the video. I know the audio isn't the best, but I am working on it. Thanks for watching.